Thank you. Thank you very much. Very impressive. I must admit, though, that I already do speak to my computer. In fact, I shout at it. So there you are. Um, a question for you. Um, during a, a lecture, is it possible for the, the signing process to actually keep, keep up with somebody speaking? Because my, I don't know much about sign language, but my feeling is that it's, the signing happens more slowly than people can talk. Uh, is that the case, or uh, how does your program handle that? Yes, uh, that's the issue here. Is uh, sign language is uh, difficult to keep up with. Uh, I mean, the, the normal speed of the spoke. I mean, the spoken normal speed, right? But uh, you can speed it up. I mean, speed this sign language animation. Or the other solution is you can reveal it later in yeah. that that pay your page or after the, the lecture session. So your, your record feature is the way you solve that problem by allowing people to wind back and, and review what they've seen? Uh, uh, yes, be, be, because uh, normal people speak very fast, right? right? And uh, this sign language animation, if, even you speed it up, sometimes it have to, like, if, I mean, a technical word, it must spell, it, spell the words out. Yeah. So, and that means sometimes it's, it's, uh, you, you must review it. OK, in the thank you. Page. Good answer. Terrific demonstration of really great technology. Um, can you talk a bit about uh, how much money you plan to make and how you're going to make it? Like, about the business model, right? Yes. Uh, could you please bring the slide here? Uh, could, could you please bring out slide? slide. Okay. Uh, about the business model, we consider three solutions here. First, the government funding, which we have discussed about with uh, the NECTEC Corporation in Thailand. They are the corporation for the Ministry of uh, Science and Technology. And they, we have this cut and they will fund a research by using, they, they have a research about Thai speech recognition and about Thai sign language. And they, they want us to improve to the next step and use their, I mean, for, for, for the country, I mean, for the Thai, Thailand. And another one is the university funding, because if each university or school wants to provide and education, I mean addi additional education for the hearing impaired, they can use this system. And another one is the media, like uh, to be television caster. You, you can uh, apply it with something like, when a uh, television caster talks something, it will show and sign animation automatically. So uh, about the cost of the whole system, uh, this, this is just in, in a summary. So in order to implement it in the real lecture room, you, uh, the lowest cost that we have discussed is about 12, 1,200 US dollar. So uh, this is for only the hardware, hardware cost. And about the software, about our system, we must, we must deal with each, I mean, the university, we, we must have the scale. We, we must know the scale and discuss this thing in order to uh, get the agreement about all the courses. So it, you asked about how much money we want to make, right? So uh, the money is not the concern here because uh, this application is like, I mean, in terms of charity, is for the hearing impaired. Mm -hmm. So the money that we come from, we come from like the university itself, the government. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you plan on being a nonprofit? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Um, one question we got in universities is that you mentioned at the beginning of the presentation that there's only one university in DC, right? That caters for the. Now, actually, there are many universities that provide education for hearing impaired, but just a fundamental thing 
not an advanced education. Like they don't have this kind of uh, engineering. Yeah, a, a faculty like engineering, this uh, like a, a business or or a, yeah, a like like an, a normal university. Okay, can you yeah. help maybe explain a little bit on those universities you just mentioned? You mean Gallaudet University? No, a, apart from that university. Mm -hmm. So those that are not as advanced and as that. Uh, excuse okay, me. so um, okay, basically, I just want to find out mm -hmm. if I'm a university, right? Mm -hmm. The universities you mentioned, there's the, the, the G University mm -hmm. um, and the others that have tools that are not as advanced, correct? Mm -hmm. Can you explain a little bit about those universities? Like, where are they in, in the world? Are they in the US? Are they in Asia? Are they in oh, Europe? They're, they're, they are, I mean, ar around the world, but uh, this is the problem in the poorer country. In, in some poorer country there, they don't provide uh, this e education for the hearing impaired. I, I mean, they're, they're, not, they're, not act they're not actually don't exactly don't provide, but uh, the education that is not that good okay, for great. the hearing impaired. So if let's say I'm one of those universities, right, how mm. can you convince me to incorporate your technology to cater for the hearing impaired, which if I'm a university, I may not be as like non-profit minded. I, mm -hmm. The IT department might be pressured to talk about um, return on investment. Mm -hmm. So how can you justify to me, a university, why I should spend the resources, time and money to incorporate your solution when mm -hmm. I may not have as many hearing impaired students? Uh, because like the hearing impaired, they have a potential, right? So why, why not you want to provide a way I mean, provide more room for for another for another student like the hearing impaired because they might be your one of your best student in the university in the university, right? So that that's uh, that's okay. how everything. Reached. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. I am very impressed. Uh, I have a question in relation to the system architecture. Did mm -hmm. you actually build that functionality from existing components? Because each of individual parts, like speech recognition, has its own applications, and there is many products of this uh, uh, type of uh, functions. So did you construct them yourself, or you actually integrated existing technology? Uh, we, we have implemented this sign language translator, but for speech recognition and face detection, we use uh, components. Yes. From, 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 for speech recognition, we use Microsoft API. Okay. And uh, for mm -hmm. face detection, we use an open source API. No, that's very good. Why mm. would you invent things which already exist? Mm -hmm. and, uh, now, uh, my uh, second question is in relation to your competitors, because there's quite a lot of technology which may look like being similar. What is the feature which distinguish your system from the mm -hmm. products on the market? Uh, we, we, after we came out with this idea, we have researched. And, yep. we, and we found one of the, uh, the products. Could, could you please bring out our slide here? All right. Try without the image. <laughs> OK. Uh, this is eye communicator which yeah. is the product form. Uh, the Microsoft is mm -hmm. the part partner of business partner, uh, yeah. business partner of this product. And as, as you can see, they have, uh, their solution is kind of similar to us, but they have, uh, but they don't have this kind of, we, we can change other recognizer other than English, right? Okay. And uh, we have face detection. We can use multiple speaker okay. and, mm -hmm. I understand. And finally, because the time is almost gone, I cannot wait to ask, where is California Beach? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good job. Yep. Thank you very much. Splendid. Wonderful Thank stuff. Thank you very much. Give it up for Team C.